Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Remy back at it with another video and on today's episode we got a special guest, my boy Eric. Oh man, this interview is gonna be crazy. Uh. So for those who don't know, my guy Eric experienced something a couple years ago and today we here because I wanted to ask him some questions. He's older, he's more mature, so I wanted to I wanted to really like ask him his thoughts on the whole situation and how he feels about it today. So with that being said, Eric, I want to thank you for coming. I want to thank you for um, allowing my viewers to see this. Yeah, man, and let's pleasure. get the ball rolling, man. Let's get right into it, bro. Oh, for sure, I'm with it. Did you have sex with the teacher? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did, man. Oh! Yo, I thought you I didn't did. have sex with her, bro. Nah, I really did, man. I, a lot of people think I didn't because... Um, you know, it ha everything happened so fast, but we did, man. We, we, we did the yo, same thing. Yo, you know what's crazy <laughs> that I'm asking you this question? Like, I asked if you had sex with her, but I was expecting you to say no. I didn't think you. I thought it was just a kiss. I, and for those who don't know, this was on the front page of the New York <laughs> Post. Like, this is not no clickbait. This is not none of that shit. For those who know me on some personal shit, know that anything I bring to this channel is gonna be strictly organic, Thanks. strictly original. Thanks. This is the real deal. My guy, Eric, already really made out with his teacher. <laughs> All right, man. So, that's the icebreaker right there. Happened. How did this go about? All right, so, basically, long story short, um, it was my super senior year, so I wasn't even supposed to be in high school, uh, which is kind of embarrassing, but uh, whatever. Um, basically, you know, I I kind of like bagged her, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, you know how you, when you bag a shorty, you outside and like you just bag a shorty? It was, it was almost kind of like that. It was really that. This was your super senior year. Yeah. You wasn't even supposed to be in high school. That's okay. Yeah. Um, was she like a math teacher? Was she your homeroom teacher? Because so I know in high school you have homeroom, then yeah. you have your social studies teacher, yeah, yeah, your yeah. English teacher. What, 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 she what was she? actually my social studies teacher. She was my global teacher. She was so, your global yeah, teacher. Yeah, global history, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, man. And prior to your super senior year, did you have a relationship with her? Like, what I mean relationship, I mean like, did you, did she know of you? Or did you know of her? Um, so, of course. I mean, she, she knew of, you know, she, she was a teacher, so I'm pretty sure she was... Uh, well known with all students, you know what I'm saying. Um, basically, you know me and me and my crew was always like the kind of crew to be fucking around and like, you know, like always causing havoc at school. So we were definitely known in school for being like, like the cool guys or whatever. Uh, we still are. Shout out <laughs> to all my all my dudes from high school. Shout out, you know what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, I mean we. I guess she did know about me. Um, I definitely knew about her. Uh, yeah, man. So. Yo, I read, I did some research prior to you coming over, and I and I came across um a couple articles that that mentioned that this was all like, this was all like a bet. There was no bet going on. That actually, to me, that makes no sense. Yeah. Cause it's like it's almost like oh, let's make a bet between me and you. Who could get the teacher first? Like, what are the chances that any of us are even gonna bag the teacher? Yeah, in the yeah, first yeah. place, you know what I'm saying? So, so that makes no sense to me at all. Um, like I said, I shot my shot, and she was with it. You know, she was interested as much as I was interested in her. It was it was no bet, there was no money involved, nothing. Talk to me about that shot. Like, how did you shoot your shot? Like, because you're a student. <laughs> all yeah, you yeah. have access to is probably her email and her full name. So how do you go about shooting your shot? Mind you, he's 19 at the time, like, you know, trying to talk to an older woman. Um, us, we have some, a level of respect for teachers, you know? We don't even call them by their first name as Mrs. or Mr. Zit. So, you know what I'm saying? This is really, like, crazy. So, how did you go about actually shooting your shot? All right, so, basically, uh, like I said, this happened randomly. So, one random day, I was, uh, I actually cut my class and I stayed in her class. She was teaching a class and she let me stay in her class. And um, after she finished her class and all the students left the, the classroom, honestly, I just, I just asked her, I was like, yo, you have Instagram? And she was just like, yeah, I have Instagram, but not for you, not for students. 
So now, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna write my Instagram. I'm gonna post it. And when you come to your senses, hit me up. And the next day, she hit me up. Yo! <laughs> That's a big fact, too. Yo. I literally used those exact words. When you come to your senses, hit me up. And she did. And she did. Yo, that is nuts. It she hit takes, you up. It all takes courage. Yeah, right. At the so end of the day, man, it's, it all takes courage, I was confidence. super confident. You got to have faith. <laughs> if you don't believe in yourself, then who will at the end of the day? You know what I'm saying? So, um... Let's fast forward to the actual scene, that this scene, you in the park. That was literally the first time we hung out. Okay. That was literally the first time we hung out. Th that was the first. That time was we... the first time me and her hung out after school. And where was this park? Where where, where was was this nearby the school? Well, this is actually down by Soho, around um, Broadway Lafayette. So it's not even close to my school. My school was on 66. What school you What school you graduated from? This was uh, I graduated from West Side High School. Shout okay. out West Side. Uh, okay. But um, yeah, I had a long history at the Martin Luther King High School. Though. <laughs> okay. So this teacher was from Martin Luther King or yeah, West Side? She's from Martin Luther King. Okay. You know who snapped the picture? Was it a student? Was it a photographer? A reporter? Who was it? All right. So basically, a group of students from my school. Um, I don't know if they followed us, but. I was told that they actually were in the same area and they actually just happened to find me and her walking together. And when we stopped at the park to, you know, to hang out for a little bit, you know, and talk, they ended up, you know, taking videos and pictures of us. And fucking your whole and shit just, up. They just fucked my whole shit up. Man. This is what happens when you're young and you have no telly money. You gotta go to public parks <laughs> and do shit like this, yo. That's a fact. I didn't even think about the telly at that age. I took the picture of you. Yeah. The next day, I'm sure this is a big deal at the school. The so, next day or did it take some day to like so, really erupt? So this was on Friday. This was on a Friday. So the pictures didn't come, this paper didn't come out until Monday. But uh, I guess they did give the story to the newspaper right away. They just didn't publish it until Monday. Okay. But uh, yeah, I mean, the only thing um, that I'm I'm kind of mad about is like, I feel like if you have these kind of pictures and videos and you catch me, you know, a student and his teacher, I, I feel like you should go to the school with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't think you should go to the newspaper and ruin somebody's life and career, you know, even though it's gonna be ruined regardless. Yeah. Cause she was gonna lose her job regardless, even if they didn't go to the newspaper. Yeah. But uh, you know, it's just more discreet. You know, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. I feel you. It's not all the fame and So you got to school Monday. The article was published Monday. Already you, I, you got to school Monday. I, Told some people. Not was... even when I got to school, I got out the train station. I took the one train to 66th Street. I got out the train station. I had people staring at me like I was a fucking alien or some shit. Like, yo, I, that's crazy. Yeah, I was just like, why is everybody looking at me? And, and everybody's like, like, yo, Tim, Tim. They're pointing. And I'm just like, wait, what's going on? And then I happened to actually walk into one of my boys. And he was like, yo, you're all over the paper. You're all over the front news. And I'm just like, what are you talking about? He's just like, yo, we out to the deli. Let's get a paper. And he showed me. I was just like. Oh shit. Before you yeah. got into school into your homeroom class, <laughs> yeah, this you was grabbed already, this paper and you're like, yo, already, what the fuck? Yeah, this was already happening early. Yo, early. that is crazy. So let's fast forward. Did you finish the, did you even make it to school that day? You did? Yeah, right? I, I did definitely. Did you go to school and, and what was the energy like? What 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 was it like? What was what All was right, the feedback so, like? It was definitely a lot of chit chat, everybody talking. Um I, I remember the cops being there. They pulled me to the side and uh, asked me a couple questions, and uh, and they did the same thing to her. But she didn't get arrested or anything because I was of age. I was nineteen, um, and she was twenty eight. So there was really no illegal stuff going on, except for the fact that she was my teacher. That's really the only thing that was wrong. Okay. You know, the following week. Because if for those who don't know, me and Eric actually grew up in the same building. Shout out to the White House. 
But I remember that when this all took place, we had the paparazzis around my building all the time, like all the time, just ducking behind cars, yeah, trying to see if they get an image of Eric, who is Eric, like it was just- He told me that, the paparazzi actually told me, cause I, one day I got fed up, they were just like flashing pictures in my face. I'm just like, yo, what are you gaining from doing this shit? And they were like, yo, your pictures are going for 900 a pop, 1200 a pop. I'm like, oh shit. Where's my commission? What? what? My picture, picture of me, $1,200? Let me get some PC, man. <laughs> nah, man. So, how do you, like, how was, how was that? Because I know you was in a very uncomfortable position. Like, you Definitely. know, you're 19 years old, you're coming out of your building, you're going to Dunkin' Donuts to get whatever the fuck, and you just got paparazzi following. How did yeah. you feel about that? Like, I feel like, did that empower you? Like, yeah, I'm the man. Like, nah, yeah, I just fucked the teacher. Like, the you know? On the contrary, bro. On the contrary. I'm not, I'm not the kind of person to be, like, gloating about, like, oh, yeah, I fucked my teacher. I'm not, I was not, I never told anyone about that until, like, after it happened, really. You know? Um, actually, I, I kind of felt like, I, I kind of feel bad for Kanye and, and Kim and all these people that always have to deal with paparazzi. Like, they really get in your face and they really feel take pictures like non-stop like and those they don't flashes are fucking yeah, bright yeah they don't leave you alone you can tell them to stop they, they ignore you they just keep taking pictures you know what I'm saying and they bother you they ask you crazy questions it's, it's just crazy it's man your mom yo, I know your mom how she is yeah. how did she go how did she feel about it um, like your close friends, yo, yeah, Anthony yeah. and me, how did they feel yeah, about yeah, it? Yeah. What did they say? Like, I mean, honestly, my close friends, you know, they were just like, yo, yeah, 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 you're the fucking man, bro, like, you know? Um, my parents, my mom, she wasn't too, too angry or mad or anything. She was just more like, on some like disappointed kind of stuff because she expected me to have more respect for my teacher. Yeah. Like, in reality, I should, I guess I shouldn't have been like, oh, take my Instagram and all that. You know, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you can't help yourself with that. Either. Yeah, yo, at the end of the day, when you're 19 years old, you're just walking around with a boner and yeah. just, <laughs> yo, you ready to it's take down like, anything with a pulse. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, so that's crazy. And honestly, like, this all happened at the end of the school year. There was only literally two weeks of school left. We could have waited two weeks to hang out. And... We probably wouldn't have gotten caught, but yeah, you know how that goes. Yeah, we couldn't. She wanted it as much as I did, so it was. So everything just worked. It everything just happened. Just... Yep. Um. So, like I said, the the these pictures were taken the like literally the first day we hung out, and then we basically got caught. They came. That was happened on Friday. It, the paper came out on Monday, so that week. That weekend, from Friday to Sunday, we went upstate and we stayed at a Marriott hotel for the whole weekend, and we just went ham. Like, wait, so ham. Wait, <laughs> wait. So after she got fired on Tuesday, yes, because this this right here happened Friday in the park. Yeah, this happened Friday in the park. So Monday you get to school, everybody's flipping shit. Yep. Tuesday she loses her job. Yeah. Wednesday you go back to school. Yep. Thursday everybody's still tweaking. Comes and you meet up with her. Yep. So you meet up with her Friday after the incident. You guys talk about it. And what was her What was her thought? Like what was she What was, was she saying? She was uh she was devastated. She was like super sad about losing her job, and she was just like. So mad that she couldn't teach anymore. Like they, like they threatened her job. Like yo, you can't teach at all in the New York State. She was telling me all that crazy shit. So she was like, the f she basically was on some like the fact that we got caught. We might as well just do go all the way yeah, in, right? Go, just go in. Yeah. She was like, we already got caught. There's nothing to hold back. There's nothing to, you know, to stop us now at this point. It's been six years, like. What you would have done differently, like, you know, you probably would have, because you still think she's attractive today, I'm assuming, like, Honestly. she's still, she's pretty, you yeah, know? Yeah. So, like, what you would have done differently today? How you would have gone about that situation differently today? Honestly, I wouldn't really change anything that happened except for the fact that we got caught. Honestly, like, actually bring up, like, change 
uh, that day that we got caught, that we were this that this picture was taken in the park. I told her, "Let's go uptown. Let's go to my house." I told her that. Let's go uptown to my house. That's the safest place we could go. And she was just like, nah, there's students that go to our school that live uptown, this and that. And I'm just like, no, there isn't. On the contrary, there is nobody that lives uptown except for like a handful of students that not, you know, I don't really even like chill with them or even know them like that except for like really one of them, which is my boy. So that happened, you guys had a nice weekend at the Marriott. The following week, did you lose complete communication with her? Was you still talking to her building? I also read in the article that you guys had over a thousand text messages between each other. Um, was that true? Like, was you guys heavily texting? We were heavily texting. We were talking on the phone, um, phone calls, everything. Uh, after the weekend and uh, everything happened, um, she actually is the one that called it off. She's the one that was just like, you know, it's never going to work out. My parents hate you. Um, it's just, it's like just over now. Yeah. I was just like, I was a little, I was like a little bit like, damn, like down about it. Like, damn, like it's happened so fast. It's just been two weeks, you know? But uh, basically after that, yeah, we just lost communication. I didn't speak to her for like three or four years after that, you know? So fast forward three or four years, you spoke to her. What was that <laughs> conversation like, bro? Because right now, three or four years later, you're 23, right? I was like 22, yeah. 22, 22 23, 23. Yeah, all right. Yeah, what, was, yeah. what was that conversation like? Where did you where did you come across her? Where did you find her? So I found her on Instagram again after she blocked me and everything. I guess she unblocked me. That's what like led to me actually seeing her page again, I guess. Because you know when you get blocked, you, yeah, don't, you, you don't even you see that see, person's you don't page. See that, don't show you don't up. see that person's page or nothing. So, yeah, so basically, I guess she unblocked me. So I took the chance right there to send her a message and just, like, you know, clarify things. You know, I didn't want her to think that I was the reason why all this happened. And, you know, I, I, I didn't want her to think that that bet, $500 bet shit, I didn't want her to think that was real. So that bet was a lie. That's bullshit. That's a total lie. Fake oh. news. Yeah, the... The news also says I was 18, I was 19. Like, the news will lie. I want people to know that. The news, they lie. They just go with the story that's the best, that sounds the best. Whatever, whichever one they hear first, that's, that's the most. Yeah, that's, that they sound, that that's sounds the most accurate. For, yep, that's the story that they go for. And to her and she was just like... She, yeah, you know, she was, she was actually really kind about it. She was just, she was straight up told me, like, I appreciate you hitting me up and letting me know. I believe you. And, you know, we just... Kept it at that, you know. Is she is she unblocked today? Like, can you like search her name and like? Honestly, I don't know. I haven't really looked her up. You haven't really looked nah, her up, and you're not really, really and you're not. And I don't really care. At this point, I'm pretty sure she's like living her life. You know, I don't want to. Like, I'm living mine. Yeah, I don't want to like intrude in whatever she's got. Try to rekindle on. the moment. Yeah. I try to do it that time, you know, but yeah. it, but it was the vibe was off. So, That's crazy. So, uh, I just like you know, I just left it at that. I've never been the kind of person to like. Pursue, 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 pursue somebody. You know, I'm, I'm just not like that. Yo, your privacy was really invaded. Like, if, if extremely, it sucks to say, you know, but it's the truth. Like, I'm not gonna hide it. Like, if you type in Eric Artie on Google, like, yeah. all kinds of pictures of you will come up. The articles will come up, yeah. and it's just like it's really unfortunate because. You didn't even want none of this shit to happen like that. You just wanted to have a good time. You was really into her. She was into you. Yep. And one thing led to another, you know? Exactly. Like, that shit is very unfortunate. Um, But yeah, yo, that shit is just crazy how everything just unfolded. My guy, Eric, like... I, I Honestly, I find those students that did all that, I, I kind of find that like kind of like a hater move, you know? Because it's almost like... I know for a fact that if it was me and my boys and we saw something like that, First off, we're not pulling out no cameras to record nothing. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, it's not in my nature to just go take pictures of people in their private lives and go snitch on them and like go to the news and like do it for the money. Like, nah, like, that's just a hater move, y'all. Yeah, y'all haters. Y'all haters. Let them know, bro. Let them know. They might watch it, bro. Let them know, bro. To the people haters. that recorded that shit, let them know. Yeah, fucking haters, son. Crazy. <laughs> but y'all already know that, you know, so it's grown men coming up to me telling me like 
like, yo, I want to be like you when I grow up. And I'm just like, how you want to be like me? You older than me, but, you know, it's all it's, it's all love, you know what I'm saying? Like, I respect it. It's, uh, I appreciate, like, the, you know, the, the love and, like, you know, everybody coming up to me and telling me, yo, I seen what's going on. And, like, you know, I... I'm glad I just you gave me a chance right now today to for me to like clarify things, you know, and like people really know now what's really what really happened and how it really went down. And, um, to be honest, I don't really like condone this kind of behavior because you don't want to ruin people's careers. But true, this just goes to show you that anything that you put your mind to, you can do it. Like if you have faith, if you believe in yourself, and you really shoot your shot. You can do it. Like, Thanks. you know, the scenario is crazy. I still, till today, can't wrap my mind around it. But anything that you do, you want to you wanna be an astronaut. You want to fuck the principal. You want to make it to the <laughs> NBA. You got to put your mind you to it, you know. You, you got to shoot it. your shot because you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Once again, the right. scenario, the analogy is a little ugh, but... It applies, it applies to, to the same thing. It yeah. applies to life. You yeah. want something, you go out there and you get it. I want to say that this happened five years ago and Eric never really got the chance to clear clear the story and really say his side and how he felt because as I told him, I did my research and a lot of the research that I did was false information. My overall thoughts on it, I'm very... I was very surprised at your maturity at a very young age. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because, because listen, for those who know me at 19 years old, bro, if I was to ever get caught doing something with a teacher, oh boy, bro, you I know, wouldn't know how to handle it. You know what's crazy? I actually got a, I got an opportunity. I don't know if, uh, if you ever heard of B Wood Clothing, B Wood NYC. Nah, I never heard of that. So B Wood, he's a designer. He's from New York. Um, I actually. I was uh I was cool with uh one one uh one of my boys that actually worked for him, and he told me he was like, "Yo, we have this Panty Raiders shirt that we want you to model for, and you could be on the website, and you could." And, I'm just, and I was just like, I turned it down because I didn't want that kind of like. You don't want I, that kind of attention. Yeah, like. I didn't want that attention, and like, you know, it, that could have been a crazy opportunity for me, you know, modeling for be with clothing or like, a, you know, but. I turned it down just because, like, I'm just not that kind of person. I've never been, so. Nah, yeah, yeah. You've always been very quiet, very to yourself, very yeah. humble. But, yeah, I was, overall, I was really, like, amazed at your maturity at such a you, such you. a young age to really deal with all that controversy that was taking place. Look, um, continue to do you. Keep pushing forward. And, yeah, and if yeah, there's anything. the music. Yo, definitely. I'm going to link his um Instagram below. I'm going to link his music. He does um beats productions. Um, He's really good at it. Um, Hit him up on IG. Definitely hit him up on IG for his beats. He's really good. Yo, Thank real quick. I remember, bro, when you had the drums, bro. You're yeah. playing. Like, you just always, since a I little kid, bro. I had guitars, pianos, drums, all the Since all a little kid, he was into music. So definitely hit him up. I'm going to definitely put his link below. I'm going to wrap up the interview right here. Eric, thank you for coming. This shit was a My fish. Bro, this shit was for Thank you, man. Thank you for everything. Definitely, I appreciate that, bro. This shit was definitely popping.